Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Hard West, Maple Falls. Returning to Maple Falls as a vagrant instead of a respected citizen was painful. In my shame, I concealed my identity with a disguise and we snuck to, stuck to the less respectable parts of town. I don't think we need to visit the gunsmith. I suppose we can. Gunsmith was a smug, well-dressed man, but an incur incorrigible buffoon. He fixed with a condescending look without saying anything. Quadruple shotgun. Could be fun. Could be fun. Elephant rifle, also fun. Musket, revolver rifle. See, so we got a pepper box. You got a scoped custom rifle. I mean, a navy gun's pretty good. A Derringer, double shotty, triple shotty. Let's get rid of the double and buy the quadruple. And then... To go with your rifle... Really, let's give you the elephant rifle. Well, yes. Yes. And then something to go with it. Musket is always good. All right. Have some cash. 80 bucks. Enjoy. Just in case. Make sure we're good. All right. Packing some good heat. Always on the lookout for body parts or ether first. Wait, I thought we had loaded dice. An invertebrate gambler, already deep in his cups, was boasting he'd already won everything valuable in town. He asserted he could bet his own head and have no fear of ever losing it. Hang on. Hang on. I thought we had loaded dice. Yeah, we do. We just, I guess we need to have them in our inventory instead of on us. Turn the Nox fellow wanted to gamble for his body parts. There we go. I bait him to betting his liver against me. For my part, I would enhance my luck with a pair of trick dice. Unfortunately, my deceitful cubes refused to dance my way, and I soon found myself defeated. Realizing I would rather part with my honor than my liver, I shot the gentleman where he sat. Damn if he didn't manage to return fire. I was badly injured but alive, and I got a bit of ether out of it. Well, that didn't go well. I asked around about you. Andre looked at me quizzically, pointed to a piece of paper on the wall, and asked whether I meant the wanted Negras. Okay. I haven't quite heard that version before, but sure. Negris. The poster read, Wanted dead or alive. Liberty. Escaped slave and murderer. Escaped slave and murderer. And gang. 10,000 for the Negro. 2,500 for each gang member. Last seen in the vicinity of Stringfellow Quarry. Nice. When I had heard you had survived, I was ecstatic. I knew you had embraced your superhuman potential. And you chose to remain in the quarry and wait for me. I knew then you had feelings for me. Oh, I've got feelings. Just not the ones you're thinking of. So... We don't have any, like, really any talismans at all, but we're going to go to the quarry. Well, I suppose we can go to the congregation first, but then we'll go to the quarry. It's found a small village by found by my religious sect, the most kept themselves trapped. You've met them. They have herbal goods, nothing I care about. All right. Well, we visited there. Ah, oh, a fight. Uh... But wait, that doesn't make any sense, because we did this fight, and all three of our people died. Put aside dramatization, make more preparations. I guess? That doesn't make any sense. We already did this fight, right? Well, help me with the K, just in case. Like, I don't want, like, if we're actually getting into a fight, I want to make sure we're prepared. I guess. Yeah, nothing over here. All right. Two twenty-nine bucks. Let's buy 
Oh, hold on, Muerto, I guess. Doesn't hurt. Eh, you know, we'll buy the sturdy shoes. That's all you got. We'll buy them. We'll be ready. We've got some stuff. Because we lost our loaded dice, which is very sad. Alright. Ready as I could ever be. Spine fracture, missing brain part, missing forefinger. We're in a bad way. Let's just be honest. Let's see. You have the shotgun. You need some movement. Especially because you have a mangled foot. It brings you back up to where you were. Guns are taken care of. Yeah, everything's taken care of. Okay. Then we're good to go. So why are we proceeding to combat? Yeah, thus we have come full circle. Yeah. Why are we proceeding to combat here when we've already had Lad Liberty and, and Phineas obliterate us? I first suspected your grudge against me when I was surrounded by armed thugs. But I was shocked when it became clear you'd told them to terminate my life. I shot first. Idiots. I told them to disarm you. But don't worry. We'll get to the killing. Okay. So that's why. Well, fellas. Hate to break it to you. But you're done. Alright. Well, let's get moving, I guess. We have a shoddy. Let's use the triple shoddy first. Go make our way out to here. Yeah, I think triple shoddy, that'll be a good one. Desert or gunslinger? Okay. You got a musket. Might just have to use it. In fact, I think that would be a good idea. What's up, bud? Goodbye. They tried really hard to get it all up in our business, but it's not going to work out for them. I can guarantee that. Guns go here. Oh my goodness, look at all the people! There are so many. Well, let's lower the luck on the guy that only has two HP left. There you go. I have a feeling this battle is going to take quite some time. There are a lot of enemies. Like, holy crap. <laughs> okay. What are you trying to accomplish there? Oh, that's very bad. Please don't. Oh, that's very bad. Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh, my. It must be like deserter general or something. If I had to guess. Well, get over here. Now you see everybody. John the Evangelist. Huh. Shoot him. Nicely done. Reload the musket. And let's see about hitting you. So you've got a 64. And this is slightly better, 67. Goodbye. One less to worry about. We need someone on the ground floor funneling people, making sure that we're not going to get ambushed. So that's going to be you. But first, you got to reload. Okay. I'd like to shoot at John. Why don't we fire our Derringer? Takes away quite a bit of luck. And then, finish him off. Nice. Johnny boy, you're not going home today. Did we forget to apply all of our cards? I feel like maybe we did. 
Oh well, we don't need them anyway, right? We don't need no stinking cards. We got them. It's just like a freaking huge firefight, that's all. Yeah, it's not very good. Lots of pistols. No worries. Okay. If you walk down here, if you go here, what do you see? Nothing. Nothing and nobody. Alright. Well, I say let's go ahead and kill this guy that we do see. Long shot, huh? Whoa! He's lucky! He's lucky, lucky, lucky. Let's pick up a reload for Luis. And I say fire at this guy. Nicely done. Let's scooch over to here. I think that'll be a good spot for us. We have really not a lot we can do here. I suppose this is our best shot. Chance it. You hit him once. Ouch. You are alive, surprisingly. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That was almost really bad. That was almost really bad. Why do they keep going for her? Please stop shooting at her. You have multiple targets here. Oh my goodness. Okay. She's gonna get hit again shortly. I'm not happy about that. However, what I am happy about is knowing this guy is going to die very shortly. Suppose we'll just fire with this. That's one. We need to get another hit. I'm happy we have a little bit of luck regeneration. We'll be okay. Darn. Well, if you can't do that, then what if you guarantee a kill on this guy? I feel like he's screwed anyways. I feel like we go for the reload and then we just shoot the same guy we shot last time because he's just going to die. Yeah. Like that was easy. And then dude with one HP, we fire at twice and this should also get us the kill. Yeah. No, he's still alive by some magic. Well... We'll shoot at the guy with 4 HP. Reason why we pick him is because... Because since he has 4... Oh my goodness, that's very bad. Since he has 4 HP, we need to work him down just a little bit. I need Luis to not die right now. That would be nice. Well, I mean, that works out well. Thanks. All right. And that should be a very easy finisher. So we get out here. I spotted fire in the distance. I made a note to investigate once the thugs were dead. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, he's alive. What a lucky duck, man. What a lucky duck. You need to be dead, so goodbye. All that's left is little old Luis, who can get a nice little reload on her Derringer, or she can tr go for the kill here. I think the kill shot, ah, you just can't quite get there, I don't think. Oh, you can, but it's not enough. Not enough. Stay behind high cover. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good miss. All right. Well, I'll end one more life personally. Investigate the fire. 
Well, let's scoot on down. Make sure we, re we reload our guns plenty. Well, I imagine investigating the fire will go ahead and end the mission. That's what I suspect will happen. If it doesn't, we need to be prepared. Scooch up. Since there's nobody left, thank goodness. Oh, and let's make sure to get plenty of reloads. Because holy crap, do we need them. Holy crap, do we need them. Alright. Reload. Your Derringer does need to be reloaded. Alright. We can take care of that. Reload. Not the most exciting, thrilling, or gripping gameplay you've ever seen before, I'm sure. It's like when you play the video at 2x speed because you're just waiting for something to happen, you know? Okay, before we do anything else, investigate. I guess we can't do that unless we use the doctor, the good doctor. All right, fine. At least most everybody is loaded up on ammo, so we should be okay. No matter what happens. Move on up. You know, in the... Wasn't there some sort of wooden bridge or something in the... In the opening fight? I swear there was. Yeah, like a catwalk, yeah. Like right here. Yeah, like all across here. In fact, where all the wooden poles are. Wasn't there a catwalk? Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Is that you, Liberty? Now you know everything, I admit. I do not treat you too tenderly. But has anyone? I at least empowered you to do your own bidding. So kill me, if you will. Without you, I have no reason to go on. Kill or subdue Dr. Gorman. I'd say subdue. I don't see a reason to kill him. I do see a reason to subdue him, though. Stop whining, old man. You're one sick bastard. But I won't be the one to kill you. You are truly the superior human being I have been looking for, Liberty. Save it! What? Who are these people? Duval's men, no doubt. They seem to have us surrounded. The reason why I did not kill him is I do not see any good in coming from killing him. If I'm being honest, it, it doesn't serve a purpose to have him dead. He's the only one that seems to have any knowledge about what's going on. You have some crazy eyes there, Luke. Crazy eyes. Okay. They actually do have us surrounded. That's fair. All right. There's not really much in the way of good cover. Yeah, the catwalks. When did those come into existence? Whatever, it's fine. I suppose reloading would have been a good thing, but that's okay. This is good cover. By Neus. Scoot up to here. I want to see if maybe we can force them to move forward by making us either extraordinarily difficult to hit or they just straight up can't see us. Give me a reload. Double check. Chain gun is good. Give me another reload. Okay. 
I'd like to be extraordinarily hard to hit right now, so... Oh, the Shadow Cloak. I forgot. You have Shadow Cloak. We can actually move up because you have Shadow Cloak. They're not going to see you. But you can see them. So I want to see them moving up. That's the hope. That's a pretty awful shot there, butter buckaroo. Okay. No worries so far. Nothing that I care about. Lots of movement. Must be a lot of people. Holy cow. Alright. Nothing all that interesting happened. I'm okay with this. You do have a shot. This is gonna take a long time. This is gonna be a long battle. Luckily, we have the Fitzpatrick Revolver. Fire. Oh, whoa! Well done. Well done indeed. Nice crippled defense. That's huge. I think Luke, since you do have... I guess those must have been there the whole time. Oh. Whatever. Since you do have the capabilities... Can you not climb this ladder? There we go. For some reason it wasn't working. You have the capabilities to see for a really long distance. I think perhaps we want to keep you behind. I don't know. You don't have that much HP, which is why I want to try and keep you somewhere safe. I want to protect you. Go ahead and scoot back. I'll chance it. Okay. That's... Okay. That's fine. They're coming outside just like I was hoping to bait them. So it works. Even if it is a little weird. Did we just kill that guy? <laughs> he bled out. Nice. Chain rifle. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. But, for now, we need a little bit more. We do have Ricochet. That could speed things up considerably. Go ahead and get you up high. I need eyes on everybody so we know what we're going for. So you're over there, and then two of you up here. Well, Phineas, I think we put you over here. That way you can actually see him. But you can't shadow kill. There's the shadow kill. Goodbye. I can't see the ball anywhere. No doubt he's skulking in the back somewhere. Coward. We'll get to him. I feel like someone just took damage again. I don't know who or why. Or how. We have no luck. It's fine. Fire! Nice! Liberty is on fire with these. Absolutely on point. Let's... Artery? Uh, artery shot's not going to do us a lot of good, though. And it's going to cost us luck. We don't really want to spend luck. Ah, it's too bad. All right. Well, pot shot. There goes some luck. Question is, 
Where do we take it from here? I think here is a good spot. Should be able to see him just fine. If you do. You're not going to be able to do much damage, though. Go ahead and fire the Navy gun at him. Okay. That's acceptable. It's not amazing, but it is acceptable. Well, scoot on up. Okay. No worries. We can fire again. Wow. Lucky. That Fitzpatrick revolver is seriously worth it, though. I'm so glad we picked that up. That has been such an important payoff. Such an important purchase, and it has paid off immediately, I should say. Slaver! Get shot. Nice! The cripples. The cripples. Noise! Get shot from the other side of the map, sir. Did he die? Oh yeah, he died. Reload. Take care of a little bit more of that luck for me, please. Very good. Hot shot. Got him. Liberty. Get over here. You're up front. It's also a really awesome position in general. So, oh, we saw somebody over here. Three enemies remaining. Okay. We'll find some cover. You see somebody? Yes, you do. Take a reload. So we know where the remaining three enemies are. That's good. Hello there. Ah, that's fair. Kill Duval's men. You know, we don't need the Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick revolver for this one. Wow, I think we just put all three into his corpse. Jeez. Let's fire again. Actually, can you shadow kill? Nope. Fire. Too bad. Well, reload. There, you got some ammo for your navy gun for next turn. Find Neus. Scoot up a little bit. Get a better shot. 49. Wow, he's just all about the cripple defense. Find Neus has been on point with these cripples. Seriously. He could not have been better. Die, please. That's one hit. Go ahead and go out here. Two hit? Probably not. That's alright. Reload Phineas. And you're actually going to come back where you were. And then a random shot from across the map. There he is. Got him. So we got two of them. That's very bad. That could have been worse. We should be okay. They've only got pistols. They do not have the judge. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Okay, we're okay. We're all right. Get over here. Oh my goodness, there are so many. Shriek requires 80 luck. That's fair. Can you kill Governor Duval? Rest in pieces, Duval. Nice. Riddance, I say. Wow, that's all we had to do is kill him. Dr. Now, Frankenstein. Liberty? I've got my freedom. But there's others waiting for it, too. It's time to help them get it. We, we did it. That's it. That's it. Scars of Freedom Achievement unlocked. Scenario done. 
Okay, well, I guess that's the end of Hard West. That was a good game. That was fun. That was a lot of episodes. Holy cow. This was longer than a, actually than a standard Paradox full game playthrough. Like, Europa Universalis I can do in 40, high 40s, low 50s. Crusader Kings. Okay, maybe that would take like over 100 episodes. <laughs> if I really played it seriously. Um, Hearts of Iron's like 40-ish. And Stellaris, that's their longest game. I guess it's the only game that's longer than this. We play a lot of Paradox games on the channel, obviously. XCOM is 30. Low 30s. Usually. So, Hard West. Almost 60 episodes. That was a long game. And it's a, that's great value for money. Dollar per hour? Great. How, how many hours have I sunk into this game? I gotta look real quick on Steam. 28 hours. Wow. Well, I just want to say a big thanks to a special fan who went ahead and sent me this game on Steam. It was a lot of fun. Great playthrough. I greatly appreciate it. Holy cow. But that's all the scenarios. We've done all of the scenarios. I guess the game would have taken even longer if we had played it on the hardest difficulties. So I suppose it wouldn't have taken that much longer. And really, Iron Man... We could have played it in Iron Man. would have really been that big of an issue. But, no, that was really good. I, I greatly enjoyed it. That was fun. Uh, as for what will replace Hard West, now that Hard West is done, I think Stellaris will just fill in the time slot. Went ahead and came out this past weekend, and I think we're just going to go ahead and, and slot it right on in. It's Stellaris with the new Leviathan's expansion version 1.3. It's a lot of fun. It's on a small map with a completely random civilization that we're playing with. It's It's been interesting. So that'll probably fill in the time slot for now, guys. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you have future indie titles that are coming out, feel free to put them in the comments below. I love checking out indie games. I, I feel like indie games are the best games out there, honestly. I, I'm not a big fan of triple A's. I, I, indie games are, are definitely my favorites. That's a lot of Andrews. <laughs> That's a lot of Andrews. Uh, so if you, if you know of any up-and-coming cool indie titles, could be completely obscure, like four reviews on Steam, kind of obscure. Like, anything from that to uh, almost mainstream indie title, those I usually know about. Uh, but if you know any of them, please let me know, and I will happily go check it out, see if I can talk to the devs, and and see what's up. So, again, if you have any ideas, let me know. Put in the comments down below. And for now, guys, I guess that'll do it. I don't think we're going to sit here through the entire credits. We're just now on the Bs. That, that's a little nuts. That's a little nuts. But we did well. So we did all of Scars of Freedom. We did all the campaigns, and we unlocked everything. I was kind of hoping the Fate Trader would have been in Scars of Freedom. I was kind of hoping that you could go into Scars of Freedom, unlock special guns, and then use them for the actual main campaign. That would have been the Fitzpatrick Revolver. I would have had with me on every single mission through the entire campaign. Like, it was crazy. This is a very weird campaign. A very dark game. It was so dark. Oh my goodness. The Scars of Freedom was arguably one of the most light-hearted campaigns out of all of them. Which is really sad. Because it was not a light-hearted campaign at all. It was it was dark. And it was... There, there were darker campaigns. There genuinely were. So... Wow. 
And to think it all started with a journey on the Oregon Trail with Father, <laughs> Father and Warren. That was good. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. <laughs> Even go back to the very first episode to see how it all began. It's, it's we've gone a long ways in all these weeks. Ten weeks, eleven weeks, something like that. We've come a long ways. Thanks to Amphit and Simon and Amphit and Patreon supporters. Again, thanks to our special, our special uh, friend who gave us the game. Special viewer, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You know who you are, so thank you. I would say your name, except uh, I don't have permission to say your name. Whereas Patreon supporters, the the level actually says that I will give put you in the credits there. So unless you say otherwise. Uh, so I don't have implicit permission to say your name. Um, so just thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to make yourself known, feel free to do that in the comments. Uh, if not, that's cool too. But again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys all next time with Stellaris in this time slot. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. And that was fun. DFTBA.